let's have a look at question two now. So we have derivatives over here in part A. We have the derivative of 6x plus x to the power of 6. Okay, so we're differentiating 6x plus x to the power of 6 with respect to x. So x is our variable. Now, we're differentiating a sum, so we're differentiating every term. 6x derivative with respect to x is just going to be 6 plus x to the power of 6 derivative with respect to x that's just going to be 6 times x to the power of 5. Now let's keep going because these are pretty short. So in part b what do we have over here? The derivative of this expression with respect to u. So we have e to the power of 2u cubed plus 3u squared derivative with respect to u. Again u is going to be our variable. So we're differentiating, we're differentiating this entire thing. And what do we have over here? e to an entire power. And that power is an expression of u, an expression of our variable, meaning that we will have to use the chain rule as well. So we have as a result e to that power, e to the power of 2u cubed plus 3u squared plus, I'm sorry, multiplied, multiplied with the derivative of the power. So we have 2u cubed plus 3u squared derivative with respect to u. Okay, let's go over here below to keep solving it. We have as follows e to the power 2u cubed plus 3u squared multiplied with what's the derivative of that entire expression? Let's see. We have 2 times u to the power of 3 derivative. We keep the constant 2 multiplied with the derivative of u cubed, that's just 3u squared. And over here we just differentiate 3 times u squared, so we have 3 as a constant, the derivative of u to the power of 2 is 2u. Now let's, um, let's see how we can write it in a more simple way. We will keep writing our e, so e to the power 2u cubed plus 3u squared multiplied with, what do we have here? 2 times 3, that's just going to be 6u squared plus 3 times 2, that's 6u, so plus 6u. And that would be it. Let's leave it like that. In the next video, we'll finish off with c and d.